Good evening. This is the video newsletter for BuySellShort.com for Wednesday, August 20th. Uh, going to be a quick update tonight. Here we have the Dow 15-minute chart. We are still in this bullish falling wedge formation. We've had a little bit of consolidation here. Uh, pretty choppy market this morning as we bounced around in about a 100-point range. Oil was up, oil was down, oil was up, financials were down. Uh, just a whole lot of chop right now. Until we break uh, 11,550, though, it really doesn't matter. Downside support is now the 11,200 area. If we flip over to the daily chart, uh, we are still actually today's close doesn't look that bad if we actually hold here. In the larger scheme of things, um, granted, we are being a little uh, optimistic with this thought, we possibly have the makings of a W formation on the Dow. Here you have the first side of the W. We've got the center beginning. Now we're possibly starting the next down leg. This formation would, would play out over the next uh, four months into year end. And if this is actually a W formation, we would be looking at 13,000 on the Dow by the end of the year. Um, Stochastics are coming to the 20 area, which is positive. Um, would actually really like to see us hold around this area over the next week or two and then see a nice run into September before they do the uh, cyclical tank for September, October. Um, oil prices today up slightly, and that was despite uh, Goldman Sachs coming out and slapping a $149 price target on oil by December. OPEC coming out and talking about uh, cutting supplies. We had the oil inventories report that came out today, and crude oil inventories had a 9.5 million barrel build. That is exactly what we were talking about a month ago when we said there were oil tankers floating all over the place with no one you know, looking to buy the stuff. And here we have a huge spike in crude oil supplies as they try to rush to market. Gasoline supplies dr did drop 6 million barrels, but, you know, people aren't driving as much and refiners aren't making as much, you know, gasoline. So that's part of the reason. The crooks are still trying to uh, pump the price of oil so they can get out Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley, etc. But uh, in my opinion, the oil trade is broken. We should see 80s by the November election. 120 is possible on crude oil before that happens, but uh, longer term, you know, I still believe we're going to see sub $100 on oil. Stock plays, CROX, this was a huge winner for us on Monday. Last two days has come down sharply. Today it dropped, uh, word was spreading that an X, meaning someone who doesn't work for Crocs anymore, director, sold 700,000 shares all of which were indirect shares, meaning stock options. Who cares? The guy doesn't work there anymore. He's getting his money. Why wouldn't he? Pull back to our target entry area here. Average entry price, 450s. Would be looking for a bounce back to the 20-day exponential at 5, which stops at 403 on this one. I think this is a great ad opportunity for us. And let's see how it plays out. IMMU still treading water. I still believe this stock goes big for us, so I'm giving it some uh, rope. I'm going to swing this play and trust in the chart read that it's going to do what it did the last two times we had a setup like this. Stochastics have dipped back below 20, so we're setting up like the early July move. As you can see back in early July, we had uh, some up and down movement and then it took off. So what we'll be looking for here is a spike in volume over a million shares. That will be our trigger that the move is about ready to begin. IVAN, nice winner for us yesterday. We entered, spiked on news, uh, traded as high as uh, 269 today, actually. Uh, first target easily hit, and then it uh, retraced all of that move. That's why we book half gains at first target. This is a perfect example of it. Still like the stock, stops would be at uh, the eight-day moving average. 245 is where I would place stops on our half position that remains. Still like the play. No reason why it keep, can't keep going. Uh, uptrend still in place in stochastics. We've got a positive ADX, positive MACD, and uh, stochast our RSI is still in a nice uptrend. So still like the, the play. 
stops in place. We already have our money on it. So worst case scenario, we only made money on half our position. Final stock I'm going to mention is Sirius. We're still treading water here. 20-day exponentials at 158. That's a given that that's going to hit. So right now we're looking at, we're going to move our first target to the 50-day. I want to gain out of this one. So we're looking at 180 plus. 50 days at 192 right now. We've got uh, positive MACD crossover, stochastics, and unbalanced volume. Little pinch as it uh, works off this area, but uh, I still believe this one goes. Pullback was on lower volume as well today. So this one is still in play. We're going to swing this one as well. Giving our plays a little bit more swing momentum right now because uh, that's what's working. You know, the plays may not hit in one or two days, but, you know, give them a week or two and more times than not, they're actually working out. So that's it for the video tonight. I'll see you guys in the chat room tomorrow. Good night.